Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel, Septeria18, and joining me here on my channel. I've got a project share to show you in this video, and it's these really cute uh, little house embellishments that I had made. I did just use uh, my paper punches to make these uh, embellishments, and I just think that turned out really, really cute, and these are ready to add to projects. And I'm going to uh, make one here in this video and show you how um, I put this together it is just so cute and then I just added one of my word sentiments as well and a little tassel to finish it off I also uh, had put a few kits together for you um, if you want to have a go and make these ones um, it's listed in my uh, shop and I'll show you what you'll get in the kit um, after I show you guys how I put this together that way, if you do purchase the kit, you can come back to the video and have a look and how you could also put it together. I'll also uh, put it on my Instagram as well, so you can also have a look at the photos on Instagram. But these are just so adorable. And they are easy to make. Uh, you just need to have the actual uh, punch shape to make the little uh, roof. And then I use the little extra piece that... Um, was part of the roof to make a little tiny tag embellishment as well how cute are these it's so tiny but you know you can still add a little stamped uh, message here or you can write your own little message to the tag and these are just a cute little addition so they are just so cute and I also made a little pocket with uh, some vellum and I think that's just another great little way to add your little embellishment inside the pocket and then you can gift this to a crafty friend and then they could use it on their projects or you could uh, just have it ready on hand for um, happy mail and then you can add these to projects uh, i've got here this is just a little three by three note card that i just cut uh, at six by three inches and then just folding it in half and then you can just place that onto a card and then it's ready to add as a little a note card. You can have it that way. You could also add these to uh, favour bags or treat bags. Add them to flip books. Um, just uh, anywhere you like uh, onto your craft projects. But I'm going to show you how to put these together or how I uh, made them. So what I've done was I've got a scallop circle punch. This one here is a 2 and three eighth of an inch circle punch it's um i think it's by stampin up i did purchase this uh probably about four five four to five years ago so it, it is it was a while ago i bought it but they may still have this on site i could have a look on their online store so i did use that shape and then i also used uh this heart little heart shape and this one here that's to make the little heart that's in the center of this little tag so I just wanted to make a project just using my punches so I'm going to show you how I put them together and how I made it so I've just got here all the bits and pieces to create the little house so what I've done was I had punched out the shape with, with the uh, 2 and 3 eighths of an inch uh, scalloped circle punch and then I cut out two actually I cut out two pieces uh, this was the other piece that I cut that's to make the bottom layer so um, if you've got double sided paper you can actually use the other side to make uh, the back so you can just use the one piece so what I've done was I've got this as a template and I'm going to cut out for the base of the roof first. And to do that, I cut out leaving th four of these scallop uh, circles. So you can see on the bases, one, two, three, four. So what I've done, I'm just going to use this as a template. So I'm going to keep four. So this there. And then I'm just going to cut it at where it sort of has that little kind of a little divot where it creates a half circle and I'm just going to cut it and sort of get it into the middle to and cut out like a little pie piece shape so 
so that's the little piece and then I'm going to use this as the back and then to create the uh, front I'm going to do the same but I'm going to have just the two full circles and half on the end and then I've already cut a piece here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that as a template and just find another part where I'm able to get two full uh, full half circle and then I'm going to cut out half a circle on the fourth or beside one side and then on this side as well so that if you can see it just gives me like um, two full circles and two half on the ends so that will that way it can sit up like that uh, on top of the other I mean you don't have to do that you can just have one um, piece to create your roof you don't have to have two layers but I just thought it looks nicer if you have two pieces so that's how I've got that and that's going to be the roof and then I just cut a piece of plain white cardstock this one here I cut it at one and a half by one and three quarter of an inch and that's for the uh, bottom of the house so that will sit on that I do apologize if you see a bit of the shadow around the background because the Sun's going down and um, I'm trying to film this without too much shadow and then so what have we got here I'm just going to put that to the side I'll put that to the side now so we're going to work with these two and then I've also cut out a little piece for the door which is just uh, some gold glitter paper just a little strip um, I'm not even sure what I measured that to be but it's just you just want to cut a little piece just so it sort of sits for the door and then I punched out a little heart um, butterfly with my heart punch and I also cut a little strip now you can just cut the strip from the same piece just a little piece that you want to cut out and that's going to be the background for the word sentiment but that's optional you don't have to do this part if you don't want to um, so I've cut that out I've also come what else have I cut out I've got the tassel to go onto the house and I've got a little tiny little circle uh, that I punched out with a hole punch and I'll show you what that's for in a second I have a jump ring that's to keep the tassel dangle and there should be a little heart tiny little heart which I haven't got I'll just grab that little heart and and then I also punched out that little heart which was from this one here so there are a few little tiny pieces to make the little house but once you've got all the pieces together once you put it together it's really really easy okay so let's go ahead and we're going to put this heart together uh, uh, sorry with the house so I've got the uh, the foundation of the house and this is going to be the back of the roof so I'm just going to put some glue And then I'm going to just place that just on the top. So that already looks like a little house. So like I said, you can just leave it like that. You don't have to add the extra layer. And now for the uh, top part, which is going to sit on the top, I'm going to add uh, some foam dots. Um, I think it looks cute to have the top layer of the roof sort of uh, dimensional so actually I might use the smaller ones I'll just use these little ones I'm just going to probably use four now when you want to place your little uh, foam dot uh, place it just below 
a little bit below the pitch of the roof and you'll see why I've um, done that. So I'm I'm just going to take these out and put that to the side. You have this little circle piece. This is again optional. You don't have to use this part and you don't have to add the tassel if you don't want to. I just like to have that little dangle piece there. Um, I'm just going to place a bit of glue and I'm going to sit that just uh, just uh, below that pitch of that roof just let that go put too much glue but just let that sit for a second and then just using a, a paper piece so once that's dry I'm just going to punch a little hole somewhere in the middle so just like that and then I'm going to place a jump, the jump ring that I've got here. This is uh, easy to open up with your fingers. It's not very uh, stiff. So just open it up. I'm going to just slide the tassel in there. And then slide the jump ring into the hole that I pierced. Just try to join it together. And there's your little tassel on your house. And then I'm just going to now place that top layer of the roof. That was the reason why I um, placed the foam dot a little bit lower. That way there's enough room for your tassel to move around and it won't interfere with it. I'm just going to lay that on the top. So that's the roof. Looks cute already, doesn't it? And now I'm just going to add the little door. To the bottom, placing it somewhere in the middle. And then I've got this little heart that I punched out. And that's just going to be the cute little window that I'm going to place there. that's completes the house and then I've got a little butterfly again this is optional you don't have to put this on but I think it looks cute having just something extra to add to your little house to decorate it a bit more so I'm just going to place that up here and that just let that sit so that's the cute little house and that completes the house oh actually now I'm just going to put the little word sentiment so I've got here I'll just put oh happy day which is one of my word sentiments that I have also in my shop I'm just going to trim that down oh, I hope the sun isn't bothering you with the shadow I'm just going to place that the paper is double-sided I'm going to use the um, other side to the from the um, printed paper because I've already got the nice print already on the roof and I'm just going to just trim that down as well and I'm just going to create a little banner Best looking banner but 
it will still work. much glue there and I'm just going to place that just sort of here just in front of the door got too much glue all over my fingers so that is a cute little house and then I've got one of these little just a backing, uh, nice backing printed paper. Again, I just punched that with the same circle punch. And then I'm going to just place it on the top, just like that. Again, I'm just going to use some foam dots just to give it a bit of dimension. And I'm going to use the larger size of foam dot. And I'll place one just there on the roof. And that there and I'm gonna and if you want uh, it's probably best where the tassel is it's probably best to place the pitch of the roof between uh, the two uh, scallop shape edge so I think it'll that way your tassel has room to move around so I'm just going to place the pitch of the roof just sort of between. So that way there's room for your tassel. And that finishes off your embellishment. How cute is that? Just so cute. So that is the uh, completed embellishment. And now to make the cute little... Uh, heart tag embellishment you've got this little piece here again extra so all I've done here was um, I've just kept two of these uh, scallop circle part and I just cut it there and cut that out and then I'm just going to turn it over and cutting out this little extra piece out as well so we don't need that and that will give you a cute heart shape and I'm going to place this heart uh, which was using this punch I'm just going to place that on the top of the heart we just cut out and just sort of center that in the middle and again I'm just going to use a foam dot And then just simply placing it on the uh, little tag. Just, this is just a plain white cardstock. And just sort of placing it in the middle. So that's just about done. And now I'm just going to add a, another word sentiment. I'll just trim this off. And I'll just place that in front of the little gold heart. Just in the middle. And that's done. So I managed to make two embellishments with just using that one scallop shape uh, printed paper to make the little house and a little embellishment. So that is just a, another fun way to use your uh, paper punch if you have this shape. And now uh, for the kit, if you want to purchase the kit to make your very own cute little heart uh, house embellishment, I'll show you what you get in the kit. I'm just hopefully I've got everything here. So in the kit you will get You'll get a random uh, base. You'll either get a yellow colored one or a pink gingham pattern for your background. 
you'll also get a bonus uh, printed a double sided paper for you if you want to make another one of your own or you can use these on your projects so these are the uh, two pieces you'll get you get two pieces of the scallop circle then you'll also get the uh, base pitch roof and you'll get a random printed um, top layer for the roof so these have all been pre-punched and hand cut by me for you so it's all ready for you to put together everything's in the kit to make this whole project and um, so again you'll get a random print for the roof and then you get the the house the base of the house you'll get a tassel so everything that's on here you'll you'll get there's a little butterfly A, the tiny little heart for the window and that matches the roof and what else do you get do you get the little jump ring the little door and so that's complete for the house embellishment you'll also get some foam dots as well for uh, to put it together and then you also get for the tag, you get two uh, tags, one to make your little embellishment. You get one extra tag for you to make another one of your own. Oh, you also get the little uh, strip to make your banner for your word sentiment as well. So that's there. And then you also get a little heart or the heart shape for your tag and that will also be a random print so it won't match the roof of your house but uh, you'll get a random print you'll get the little heart to go in front of the heart for your tag you get the little circle that goes on to the back of the base for the house you also get four random word sentiments as well that you can choose. So that's all that's in the kit. So you get quite a few pieces, heaps of fun for you to make the embellishment and a couple of little extras uh, for you if you want to make your own. And there is also a bonus envelope, a vellum pocket as, as well for you um, if you want to use it for the embellishment or you can use this on your other projects so that also comes in the kit as well uh, so that is my little project share and my little process video on how you can put together this cute little embellishment i do hope you enjoyed this uh, fun project i do apologize with all of the shadow and all the sun in the background but i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all soon bye